All right, here I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Clockwork Mod 9 um, Ice Cream Sandwich on your Atrix. Um, first of all, I'll show you that it's um, that it is the stock ROM. All right, we've got system version 4.5.91. I haven't upgraded to point uh, 141 yet. It's running Android 2.3.4. Um, first of all, you have to be rooted and unlocked. Um, all the instructions for those can be found on AndroidAdvice.com. Uh, um, I'll put that in the comments. Um, first of all, after you're at this point, you need to open up ROM Manager, which can be downloaded on the market for free. Um, and this is why we want to get away from the stock ROM. Um, first, you want to, I've already got it, but I'll do it again. You want to flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery for this device, um, and you'll choose the Motorola Atrix. It's going to tell you you need Wi Fi or should be on Wi Fi. I'm not, but it's okay. My connection's good enough. downloading the recovery once the recovery is complete there we go finished now we're gonna reboot into recovery <clears throat> yes I want to reboot into recovery um, now, I have already um, put the zip file for CyanogenMod9 and the uh, gapps uh, zip file on my SD card. Um, again, can be found at Android device. Okay, now, what we're going to do is, now that we're in this recovery, <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is wipe data factory reset. Use your arrow buttons to navigate, power button to select, and we'll say yes, delete all user data. for this process, which shouldn't take too terribly long. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been a little sick lately. Okay, so that's completed relatively quickly. Um, then we want to go down to wipe cache partition. Power button again to select. Arrow down to wipe cache. Power button to select it. Now it's formatting the cache. Okay, easy enough. Um, then all we need to do is go down to install zip from SD card. Power to select. Now, <clears throat> here you have a lot of different uh, choices here, but choose zip from SD card is going to be what we're going to want and here we need to find the uh, clockwork mod ROM which is here uh, the beta 0.1.02D now this was the one off of Joker's Axe um, website um, so we'll select this and we'll come down yes we are sure we want to install this and now we sit back and hope for the best <laughs> Um, this build that um, is currently on um, Android device, all the files are there as well. Um, you can also go directly to Joker Zach's website. If you, if you uh, Google it, you'll find them. Um, this version, the camera's working. Um, everything works pretty well except for YouTube low quality videos. Um, have an issue, but other than that, we haven't noticed anything that's... Um, you know, would keep you from using this as your your main ROM. <clears throat> Install from SD card complete. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose another zip from the SD card. I have the instructions a little different on the website, but we're going to want to choose another zip from SD card, and we're going to want to go ahead and select G apps so that we can have the market and. Select that. So we can have all of our Google apps since they can't actually package that with CyanogenMod. Mod.
And that's that. So now we will go back and reboot system. It's a very quick process. Um, <clears throat> of course, if you haven't already installed any kind of custom ROM on your Atrix, um, there is a backup process that you may want to do first. When, after you install Clockwork Mod Recovery, you will um, there's there's a backup option in there 